Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Impossible Builds. Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore, the Elisu Dam. This massive infrastructure project has been making headlines, and today we'll delve into its history, impact on the environment, and the controversy surrounding its construction. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our content. Now, let's get started. The Ilisu Dam is located on the Tigris River near the village of Ilisu and along the border of Marden and Chernak provinces. This dam is a hydroelectric dam that has been in the works for several years. The primary purpose of this dam is serves multiple purposes, primarily revolving around electricity generation and water storage. Let's break down each aspect. 1. Electricity generation. One of the primary purposes of the Elisu Dam is to generate electricity through hydroelectric power. The dam harnesses the energy of flowing water to turn turbines, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. This process is a sustainable and renewable method of generating electricity without relying on fossil fuels. Dam can be generate 100 megawatts of electricity. 2. Water Storage The Elisu Dam is designed to store water in its reservoir. This water storage capacity serves multiple purposes. Irrigation. The stored water can be released strategically for agricultural purposes, providing a controlled and reliable water supply to support crop growth in the region. Flood control. The dam helps regulate water flow in the Tigris River, minimizing the risk of floods during periods of heavy rainfall or snow melt. By controlling the release of water, the dam helps protect downstream areas from potential flooding. Domestic and industrial water supply. The reservoir can also serve as a water source for domestic and industrial water in the surrounding areas. The controlled release of water from the reservoir allows for a more sustainable and efficient management of water resources contributing to regional development and stability. To truly understand the significance of the Elisu Dam, let's take a step back and explore its historical background. The project was initiated in 2006 and was completed in 2018. And since then, the dam has been controversial since its inception, with critics arguing that it will have a negative impact on the environment and the people who live in the region. The dam's construction has resulted in the displacement of up to 78,000 people, mostly Kurdish, from their homes. The dam has also flooded the 12,000-year-old city of Hassan Kaif, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now, let's dive into the technical aspects of the Ilisu Dam. We'll discuss its specifications, engineering marvels, and the technology involved in its construction. This dam is a 135 meter high and 1,120 meter wide rock fill embankment dam with a structural volume of 43,900,000 mirror 3. The dam's reservoir has a capacity of 7,460,000 mirror 3, making it one of the notable structures in the region. Every major infrastructure project comes with its environmental concerns and the Elisu Dam is no exception. We'll examine the environmental impact it has had on the surrounding ecosystem, wildlife, and local communities. Beyond the environmental concerns, the Elisu Dam has sparked debates regarding its social and cultural implications. We'll explore how the dam has affected local communities, their way of life, and any cultural heritage sites that might be at risk. Now, let's address the controversies surrounding the Ilisu Dam. There have been protests, legal battles, and international discussions about its construction. We'll discuss both sides of the arguments and try to provide a balanced perspective. As with any ongoing project, the story of the Ilisu Dam continues to unfold. We'll look at the current status of the dam, any recent developments, 
and what the future might hold for this ambitious project. And that wraps up our exploration of the Elisu Dam. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested.